Have you ever wondered how a news department works? I, you <laughs> haven't wondered that, but perhaps you have. Where do the stories come from? How do we get them on all the? Uh, how do we get them on the air? All this week, Dr. George joins us with a special report on how we do the news. And tonight, he begins with a look at the people you do see in front of the camera, the Eyewitness News anchor team. This is the part that we know uh, the best. Welcome <laughs> to Broadcast News. Yes. <laughs> you know, here at Eyewitness News, we have ten regular anchors. Ten heroes, and heroines too. Every day, you'll see them sitting here telling you about the tragedies, the joys, the developments, the changes, bad news and good news. And we thought you'd like to see them in a different light, not as news anchors, but as people, beginning with the team who arrives here before the sun's up. Go ahead and check on it anyway, and I'll ask her whether she's going to use it. And if it's still going on and it's good, we could send Elaine down there. If not, uh, uh, well, at least use a VO or something on it. Full details on these stories and the rest of the news coming up at 6.30 on Eyewitness News this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Coogan is live in Oakland this morning. With when the 6.30 a.m. show is off the air, the anchors are off to cover stories for other newscasts. In fact, all of the eyewitness news anchors have dual jobs. Nancy okay, so Nancy Popkins. Popkins writing that. There's a story on the wires. What I'm trying to do by making a bunch of calls is advance that a little bit. And get Our anchors also do mini docs, special multi-part reports on various subjects. Two young men that I knew very well for 20 years are dead. He's just talking about the fact that basically that you've but got this I war going on in the streets in the neighborhoods. I work on a mini doc. I'm on. Um, Prostitution. I thought all an anchor ever did was to pick up the script and, and read it. Not this anchor. Maybe <laughs> so. I, I don't know of uh, I don't know of anybody around here that does. Well, the you business report want me to write the stock. Yeah. This is not something most people know, but when I first came here about 20 years ago, Harold Green was my producer director. He was Harold Green, and he and uh, you know I'm an old man, and he. He is actually 74 years old. <laughs> Harold, you must be, you must be at least that old to have done all of the things that you've done. I feel like it's not. What nice. else, what else have you done here? Well, let's see, I've been the, uh, Besides being an anchor. Yeah, right? I've been the producer of the news, a yeah. writer on the news. Yes. Uh, I have uh, been a reporter. One and one and a half. Well, no, it'll be like a minute thirty. But do we have to drop the FDA thing still? No. I have been a. Um, I've been the sports uh, caster here. <laughs> I've done the morning show AM Los Angeles. Those stories and more on Eyewitness News tonight. And I uh, produced and created a show called Hollywood Close Up that ran on the weekends here, and. Um, Occasionally, I've swept up just before I left. Why do they need makeup? <laughs> Both men and women. There has to be a reason. The light is so bright out there that it takes all the color out of a person's face. And she gives it a little more color than it, than it really has because it's going to be blasted with so much light that it needs a little extra. You can't beat perfection. You just get a white You can't beat perfection. No. This is how I get the real tan over here, George. This is it. Do I look better now? Like many of the professionals in this extremely demanding job, it can be very difficult juggling career and home life. It's terribly difficult. Yes. When I'm here, I feel guilty that I'm not at home. But if I stay at home too long and I think I should be here, then I feel guilty too. It's just, it's just a matter of priorities. Being an anchor news person can be very stressful particularly when breaking news happens close to airtime. I think one of the most interesting times, news-wise, was when we had the earthquake. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you were busy. Really, that's a very enjoyable situation. If you're not afraid of saying the wrong thing, um, it's really fun to work without a script and to be able to just tell people what's been happening. If something comes out of our mouth that's incorrect, it's really, it's really our responsibility. And people blame you for it. Well, yeah, because they don't, they, do. they, don't, they don't know of all these other people that are working. So, yeah, it's important that we try our darndest to make sure that it's correct by the time we do it. George, don't bother Mr. Thank you. Yeah. He's thinking? He's deep in thought, preparing tonight's commentary, which obviously nobody's going to be able to read. Look at that. No one's going to be able to understand it. <laughs> I don't even know what it's about. I don't quite get it. I think coming from you, people will understand it. I do, too. Thanks. Bruce Hershenson, of course, is a commentator here at Eyewitness News. He is considered one of our on-air specialists. The Franklin scale of 1 to 10 is the work of our cinema critic, Gary Franklin. We have two medical specialists, 
Dr. Dean Adell, and Dr. Art Uline. Our music news is left in the hands of Francesca Capucci. Henry Alfaro helps you with consumer problems in his Seven on Your Side segment. Pam Thompson covers Hollywood as our entertainment reporter. And then there's our wayward travelers, Fred and Elmer. This is Fred Anderson. And this is Elmer Dills, somewhere in the jungles of Costa Rica. Tomorrow we'll show you what it takes to be a news camera person. And we'll take you to the heart of the news operation, the assignment desk. <laughs> I learned more things about how the newsroom works while I was doing this series, Paul. I'll bet you did, because I saw you running around there for at least a couple of weeks with yeah. the camera crew and everything. Yeah. It was fun. I'll and bet it, it was. it made all of us a little self-conscious, because we're not used to having cameras up there. You got true. pictures of some, some of us eating and doing <laughs> Shirts hey, unbuttoned, take things that like camera that. away. All right, good. See you tomorrow night? Thanks, right. George. Okay. And the news will continue now at 6 o'clock with Harold and Tawny. <laughs>